Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I wanted to real quickly go over the latest updates to the professional firmware. So let's go ahead and get started. This week, a new version of the professional firmware dropped, and it has some pretty cool features that I wanted to point out. One, the thumbnail size has been changed, code's been optimized, and then probably the biggest change is UBL has been promoted over ABL. And what that means is in your slicer, if you have a G29 set, you'll need to make a small change. So just to show you how to do that, here is my start code right here for my Ender 3 V2 Neo. And as you can see, this line right here, I have a G29 bed probe. And what I need to do once I upgrade is just hit P1. And that P1 will now use UBL and leverage the new features in the professional firmware. So again, if you're using a G29 to probe your bed and you decide to upgrade, you need to change your start code and add a P1 after that. Now I also noticed, although I haven't played with it, this now has support for the laser, the reality laser module. Again, that's pretty cool. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. But thanks. Have a good day. Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15-minute help session with me, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one-hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me, and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.